How do I know your father's here? It's a bar, isn't it? That's some deep-rooted resentment. We passed a dozen bars. Why specifically this one? I don't know. It's just like a hunch. What's the password? Well, don't look at me. I don't have anything about this in my memory banks. Password or I'll shoot! No! G-A-N-D-A-L-F. The number four EDA. Gandalf forever? Really? More importantly, how do you know the password? Because I may have written this story when I was 11. you is that I wrote this story when I was a kid in my diary. I don't remember much of it, obviously, especially any no-name space junk orders, so I don't even know what you're doing here, Hope. Drink whatever you want. Can we have a minute? I don't know. I am so good at cleaning up your messes and supporting you. It's almost as if I was written to have no wants or needs of my own. Don't make me unplug you. I'm sorry, sorry. you're... No, I've got to stop doing that. Well, at least you have a last name. And a cool outfit. And backstory. I was 11. And don't read too deeply into it. All of this is just borderline plagiarism of whatever books and movies I was into at the time. OK, well then, why don't you tell us what happens next? Do we meet your father here or something? Something? We didn't order these. Table in the back. I'd be careful around that guy if I were you. Zach Romo, the bad boy who breaks good in my story. That chiseled jawline, the casual cool smuggler's costume, the faithful Sardinian companion. It has to be him. Am I the only one that noticed that it's actually Ethan? But we didn't know Ethan when Lizzie wrote the story. Well, we're not kids in it either. Maybe our current minds are punching up my work. Also, who cares? Fine. Whatever, let's just get this over with. 